everybody, it's almost midnight on Saturday the 23rd of June and for just around round 5 of 2018, let's do this. Um, I've just taken all of my normal meds to my mum and dad so that there isn't anything that I can overdose on if things get too much to keep me as safe as possible. I've got all my meds here, let me just... Um, show you there's a sort of a day's supply of meds there um, for when I'm on my progesterone so I've got my Eutrogestan there my antidepressants um, I'm not sure oh lorazepam cotiapine and promethazine I've had my Zolodex implant let me just flip the screen around so I can show you. Oh, the jeans are, I've got high waisted jeans on. But yeah, they've got a bruise somewhere there. That's why that was implanted on Thursday. And I've got all my meds ready. Let me just flip the screen around. And then I've been and collected all my meds for today, well, for tomorrow, from my mum and dad. So I've just got one day's supply of meds. And I'm about to take them and then go to bed. So that's my normal antidepressants which probably don't really need but don't want to change anything until we know exactly what's going on with my progesterone and estrogen and testosterone and all my hormone levels basically and then an extra little one of promethazine which is meant to help um, calm my distress and sort of relax me a little bit so we're taking that as like a, almost a background sedation med to try and to stop me getting too distressed when I take the progesterone so the idea is that I will take that every night that I'm taking the progesterone and until my distress starts to alleviate Obviously, this is my Eutrogest, which is the progesterone, the dreaded, dreaded progesterone. But I won't show you me taking that because um, that'd just be gross. <laughs> 